Fiber cement, you can see it's completely wet in 30 seconds, not in two hours. Okay. Magnesium oxide is the same, completely wet. Okay. And the water, at the same as fiber cement, the water is not only in the surface, the water is into the ball. Okay. This is the moisture resistance. As you can see, the paper is wet, because it's paper, it's cellulose, so paper is wet, but you cannot see. But in the core, in the gypsum core, there is no water, small quantity of water, less than 5%. Okay? So the paper is wet, but the, the core is dry, is close to dry. Okay? This is MR. And this is larval technology, as you can see, it is... Okay, now it's wet, but this, it is dry because this finishing, this is not paper. This is last mat. And this blue color is a, what is a waterproof coating. So the, the sorry, it's hydrophobic coating. So it is hydrophobic. So the, the water is just in the surface. The water never penetrates through the surface. And thanks to the composition of the board, the recipe of the board, the water into the board is close to nothing. And this is really interesting to see. I will show you again. Fiber cement. No, thank you. Just one second with the water in the surface, one, two seconds, just in the surface, not immersion in water. You can see, you can see the water penetrates in the surface, just two seconds. This is the surface water absorption. This is fiber cement. I will show you Magnesium board. You can see, only one second with water, it is wet. Okay, because the porosity is very high. So the surface water absorption is very high, also in magnesium board. MR. If we do the surface water absorption, the only one absorbing water is the paper. And the paper is not waterproof. It's the same. So the, the more or less the surface water absorption is similar to the total water absorption because the paper is the only one absorbing water in the MR. Okay? And glass rock, as you can see, is nothing because it's hydrophobic. <laughs> 